Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create interlocking golden rings like these using 3D in CS6 Extended. I've done a number of in-depth 3D tutorials which you should watch to familiarize yourself with the 3D feature in CS6 Extended. If you're unable to access 3D, it may be due to one of the reasons I listed in the video's description. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Open your gradient tool, make sure the linear gradient is highlighted, and click on the gradient box to open the gradient editor. Click on the lower left stop and the color box. Type in 0 for hue and saturation and 80% for brightness. Close the panels and go to the top of your document. Press and hold shift as you drag down to the bottom and release. Let's set a vignette around the edges. Go to filter and lens correction. Click on the custom tab and slide the vignette amount all the way to the left. Then click OK. Click on the new layer button to make a new layer. Go to 3D New Mesh from Layer, Mesh Preset, and Ring. If you see this window, click Yes. There are five 3D modes, Rotate, Roll, Drag, Slide, and Scale. Each of these modes allows you to move your 3D object in space in specific ways. I won't be reviewing each of these in this tutorial, since I covered them in depth in earlier tutorials. With the scenes icon highlighted and the current view selected, I'll click on the slide mode and drag my cursor up to slide the ring back in space. I'll use the drag mode to lower the scene. I'll click on the ring to activate it and with my cursor outside the ring, I'll click and drag up to raise it above the ground plane. I'll select Current View and click the Rotate mode and rotate the entire scene so we're looking down at it at an angle. Click on Ring Material and double click on the icon to its immediate left. This opens the Properties panel. Click on the Diffuse box and type in FFBA00. Click OK and for Specular type in FFC D05. For illumination, type in 191711. Lastly, for ambient, type in FFD200. For now, we'll make the shine 50%, reflection 100%, roughness is 0, and bump is 0, Opacity is 100% and Refraction is 3. Open the Layers panel. We'll make a copy of the ring by pressing Ctrl-J on a PC or Command-J on a Mac. Shift-click on the original ring to highlight both layers. Go to 3D and Merge 3D Layers. Open the 3D panel and open Layer 1 and its copy. Let's change the camera's view to the left. The horizontal line is the ground plane. Make the top ring active. Notice we've checked casting and catching shadows. Click on the drag mode and drag the second ring to the right. Using the rotate mode, rotate the ring so it creates a kind of X shape. Make sure the rings don't converge. By clicking Current View, you can rotate the camera to any perspective. Click on the Slide Mode and slide the view so it's closer in. Click on the light bulb to open lighting. Presently, we have one infinite light source. Drag the handle to adjust the angle. The color is white and the intensity is 90%. Make sure shadow is checked and we'll make the softness 20%. To illuminate the inside of the rings, we need to add another infinite light source. 
click on the Add New Light to Scene icon and add a new infinite light. For now, I'll make the intensity 15% and the shadow softness 20%. Rotate the light source to an angle that illuminates the inside of the rings. Change the view if you like and continue to play with the light source and its intensity until you're happy with the result. I'd like to rotate the ring on the right, so I'll click on the icon that shows all the mesh and extrusions. I'll open both layers and make the top ring active. I'll activate the rotate mode and rotate it to an angle I like better. I'll click on the roll mode to roll the ring over. You can check their spatial relationships in the view box. We're ready to render the rings. Click on the render icon. Depending on your computer's specs and 3D settings, rendering times will vary greatly. It could take anywhere from 10 minutes to a couple of hours. At the lower left of your window, there's a countdown timer that lets you know the time remaining before it's fully rendered. Once it's done, you can add text. I'm using Champignon, a size of 58 points, smooth, center text, and the color is black. Type out your text. To reposition it, open your Move tool and move it. Have fun giving someone special interlocking golden rings for an anniversary, a wedding, or just a loving thought. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.